Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're going to be taking a look at some of the fastest single engine airplanes ever. Coming in at number 5, we have the Beechcraft T6 Texan II. It's a single engine turboprop aircraft built by the Raytheon Aircraft Company. This aircraft has replaced the Air Force's Cessna T37B Tweet and the Navy's T34 Turbo Mentor. The T6A is used by the United States Air Force for basic pilot training and combat systems officer training. It's also used by the United States Navy and the United States Marine Corps for primary and intermediate naval flight officer training. It began being produced in the year of 2000 and is still produced to this day. It has a unit cost of 4.27 million and it has a max speed of 364 miles per hour with a cruise speed of 320 miles per hour. At number four, we have the Embraer 314 Super Tacano, also named ALX or A29B, which is a Brazilian turboprop light attack aircraft designed and built by Embraer. As a development of the Embraer 312 Tacano, the A29 Super Tacano carries a wide variety of weapons, including precision guided munitions and was designed to be a low cost system operated in low threat environments. It began being produced in the year 2003 and is still produced to this day. It has a unit cost ranging from US 9 million to 18 million, but it has a max speed of 370 miles per hour with a cruise speed of 320 miles per hour. Next, at number three is the Supermarine Spitfire. It's a British single engine, single seat fighter aircraft that was used by the Royal Air Force and other allied countries before, during, and after World War II. Many variants of the Spitfire were built using several wing configurations and is the most produced plane with origins from the United Kingdom. It was also the only British fighter produced continuously throughout the war. It began being produced in the year 1938 and it ended in 1948. It has a unit cost of US $980,000 based on 2017 numbers. It has a max speed of 370 miles per hour. Coming in at number two, we have the PC-21, which is a turboprop advanced trainer manufactured by Pilatus Aircraft of Switzerland. Pilatus claimed to have designed the aircraft with students in mind to train the next generation of military pilots the PC-21 provides a cost-effective and highly efficient training solution. Pilots destined to fly fighter aircraft do not need to transition to jets until much later than those flying conventional trainer aircraft, reducing cost and training time. It began being produced in the year 2002 and is still produced to this day. It has a unit cost of about US 9 million. It has a max speed of 426 miles per hour and a cruise speed of around 368 miles per hour. In the number one place, we have the North American Aviation P-51 Mustang. This plane is an American long-range single-seat fighter and fighter bomber used during World War II and the Korean War, among other conflicts. The Mustang was designed in April of 1940. Its first flight was in 1940. It was introduced in 1942 and officially retired from military service in 1984. More than 15,000 were built and had a unit cost of $50,985 in 1945, which is equivalent to 570,000 in 2018 numbers. The P-51D Mustang had an incredible max speed of 440 miles per hour and a cruise speed of 362 miles per hour. If you want to see a civilian version of this video, let me know in the comment section. You can also let me know what's your favorite one out of the bunch. All these aircraft are really similar. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. If you want to see more content like this, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button to get notifications whenever I upload a new video. That's all for this video. It's been Marlon the Aviator, and I'm out.